Fifine is yet again pushing the boundaries of what you can achieve with a budget mic. They've done that with a Fifine K669B, A6V, A8, gave that to a friend, K688, and now they're introducing the Fifine AM8. And they're calling it a streaming microphone just like the K658 and the K688. Okay, so technically this whole Ampli game line is marketed towards streamers and gamers. Which begs the question, what value does the Fifine AM8 bring that the other mics don't bring already? There's only one way to find out. Let the unboxing begin. All right, let's open the Fifine AM8. Here's the box. Open this as fast as we can. Ooh, got the typical documentation. Come on, who reads these things? It might actually have some useful instructions though. What's this? This might be the base of the mic stand and the actual microphone. All right, that is a snazzy looking microphone. Oh, wow. This might be their best foam yet. That is very velvety. So in terms of color, it's closer to the K658, but in terms of texture, quite similar. But I think the AM8 might have an edge because it's rectangular and this is cylindrical. But what I meant was the foam might be thicker. Let's try that out. Oh, let me just compare these really quickly. So if I push their foam pop filters side by side and kind of squish the K688, it seems to me that the AM8 foam is marginally thicker. But the K688's foam has more give to it than the AM8, which is a bit tougher. I don't know if that has to do with the shape or the density of the material, but it seems to me that Fifine is really iterating these small upgrades over time. And of course, you can see the diaphragm inside. Let's look at those mic capsules. So based on the manual, this is also a side address microphone. So I'm looking for that capsule similar to the K688. There's a bit of foam covering the diaphragm of the K688. And the same goes for the AM8. But the foam does cover the entire front, so I can't even see the tip of the diaphragm. Just making sure. Nope. Nothing there. That is a nice long USB-C cable. One of the longest I have ever seen. How long is this cable? It's almost two meters. It's so long I can't spread it apart with my hands. So the weight of the microphone with the mount is, see that? 399.5 grams. Let's try again. Still 399.5. The mount on its own is, 180.5 grams, and together they weigh, whew, give me a mini heart attack, 580 grams, that is hefty. I wouldn't call that a light setup, but for comparison, the Shure SM7B weighs 839.8 grams. All right, let's turn this on. Nice and shiny. Of course, it's gotta be RGB. Let's tap that and it changes colors, red, yellow, green, Sky blue, another blue. This is beautiful. I actually think the RGB is tastefully done. You can use it to complement your brand. That's more like it. Okay, so this is the mic gain knob. This is the headphone volume knob. Again, it does come with a foam pop filter. Nice RGB at the back. You got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is for small headphones. You got your classic USB-C port. This is what it looks like when you remove this. Let's put that back. This is the XLR port, and you got this nice touch-sensitive mute button. That is very convenient. Okay, just a disclaimer, we are doing the first impressions for a second time, because in my first pass of this section, I used the included USB cable, which is unfortunately not a USB 3.0 cable, and so I kind of sounded like a robot, which sounds like this. This amp has a lot of gain. Can you hear how loud this is? So I'm now using the USB 3.0 cable for my iPad. So that's just something to keep in mind in case you buy this, but I have seen some people on the internet who have not experienced the same thing. And if you do look around, you'll definitely see people experiencing the same thing as well. In any case, the first thing that I noticed about this mic is that it's got a lot of gain. And what I mean by that is right now, it's only set to two o'clock right there. And when I'm this close, the audio is almost clipping, so I have to be very careful about my volume. So this is what it sounds like at 3 o'clock. That is very loud for a dynamic USB mic. You can definitely hear some of the background, but there's not a whole lot of it. Let's try doing ASMR with this. Am I doing it right? 
am I an ASMR artist? Now I'm whispering. But if I want to keep whispering, I'm going to raise the gain to maximum. There. Now we are using maximum gain. And this is what it sounds like when I'm kind of whispering, but not quite. It really doesn't have a lot of self-noise. The off-axis rejection is excellent. You have to be right in front of it to capture most of the audio. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Another thing to note about this mic is that you gotta use low impedance headphones to monitor yourself very clearly. If you use something like the DT770 Pro's 250 ohms edition, you'll still be able to hear yourself to a fair degree, but not reliably enough for you to hear the background noise like dogs barking. Huh, do I like how this sounds? It is a fairly smooth sound, I gotta admit that. Nice, thick low end and mid range. Now let's try in XLR mode. Okay, let's try this out. How does that sound? Interesting. Hmm. Now, does this sound very different? Not all that much. As you'd expect from a proper preamp, though, it is a bit thicker than the USB version. But if this is the sound quality from the Moto M2, it's not too far off from the included preamp and the microphone itself. For the vast majority of people, you really wouldn't need to buy a dedicated audio interface to power this. Because that's essentially what a USB mic is. It's a microphone with an audio interface jammed inside of it. When you're using it in XLR mode, everything stops working. The mute button stops working. The RGB disappears. Let me show you how that looks. So this is how that would look. And eventually you're gonna control it from the audio interface. But you can plug that USB-C cable in just so you get the nice RGB. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. The first pro is that this mic handles plosives like a champ compared to say the Fifine K688. Perplexed pals with plentiful plosives perpetually pop pesky peas. You might hear some of the air blasting through, but it's not really distorting the audio. I think it handles plosives well because of how thick the included foam windscreen is. Now while the sides are roughly equal, the tips themselves are vastly different. Applying roughly the same force to both of these pop filters, the K688 has more give to it. Just to show you I'm not imagining things, let's turn on this light. The light does not pass through the AM8 pop filter, but it definitely passes through the K688 pop filter. You can even see my finger wiggle over here. The second pro is that this mic has a lot of clean gain and a great signal to noise ratio. So even if you're speaking quietly, your audio will sound clean. The third pro is that it has excellent off-axis rejection. That way it captures you and not what's around you. Listen to this. I love my wife. That could also be the first con. You practically have to be right in front of it to sound your best, and just being slightly off makes a huge difference in your sound. Ah. Uh... The second and the most concerning con is that you likely need to get your own USB 3.0 cable because the included cable might cause you to sound like a robot. This was already a concern with the included cable with the K688 and I was hoping that the cable that came with the AM8 would not have that problem. I do hope that Fifine works on this soon because as far as I can tell, they have been listening to their customers to iterate their products. And the last con is that the package is somewhat on the heavy end because it does weigh more than 500 kilograms, so it's not the first mic that I'd think of for travel. I can recommend this mic to podcasters and streamers alike. Voice actors can definitely book professional projects with this, but if you're competing with voice actors who are using more professional setups, then it's going to be tough to compete with them. Now the Fifine AM8 is an amazing value for money mic overall, but so is this mic. I'll see you there. Oh! <laughs>